What's up guys, welcome back to Detail Garage. I'm Hector, so we have this beautiful ZL1 Camaro right behind me that we worked on today. Um, so we really took our time with this one. Uh, we wanted to actually, you know, get into the nooks and crannies and really get it to shine and sparkle like the way it does. So I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step of what went down today. So we started off with inspecting the paints. Um, you never wanna just go out of car blindly. So what we did is we used our hybrid V07 spray sealant. We wiped down a little section of the hood and I inspected it. Um, upon inspection, it was pretty, it was pretty jacked. Um, the owner actually uses a car cover that was per that came with the car, and it's not the best car cover. Um, it, it, it was kind of sitting on the car and scratching, so the edges of the paint are really, they were really scratched, they're gone now, but, um, and it needed to be clayed, it hadn't been clayed, I think, ever. So after inspection, I went into the store and kind of got my thoughts together in my arsenal and wanted to see what I was gonna get together for this vehicle. Uh, to, to make this guy really, really shine. So we started with our soap. Our soap that I chose, the soap that I chose was our clean slate. Uh, the reason I chose that was because it's, I, I wasn't sure if the car had been waxed or sealed or had any type of a protective coating or, or, or a detail spray on it. So um, to avoid any complications down the road, I just used our clean slate to ensure that it removed all our wax, uh, any sealant, anything that was on the vehicle. Um, I then continue on through the store and chose our V38 and our V36. Now they're both polishes. The V36 is our cutting polish. It's kind of everybody's favorite here. It's our go-to. Um, it, it gets a good amount of the job done. Um, it cuts a little bit deeper than just a final polish. So um, I grabbed the V36. I then grabbed our V38 final polish. And what that guy does is really just, it churns up that gloss at the very end when you hit it with the car, the shine is just second to none. Um, I then also kept walking and I noticed, I noticed the hydro charge guys. So um, this guy's a really good friend of mine. So I wanted to make sure we took care of him and I grabbed some hydro charge. I wanted to ensure that his car was protected, shines like no other and was, I mean, looking really, really good. So I grabbed the hydro charge, uh, amazing product, very easy to apply. Um, one of the easiest ceramic coatings on the market to apply. So last and but not least, we grabbed our wipeout. The reason I use wipeout is, or you want to use wipeout, is to ensure that there's no um, old wax or sealant that maybe clean slate missed in, in the initial wash. Um, and to make sure the rest of the polish after you're correcting the car, doing a small polish on the car, uh, there's no leftover polish and it's completely off. When you're gonna use something like Hydro Charge, you wanna ensure it's the paint and only the paint uh, that's left behind, you don't want to mix it with any old waxes or sealants or, or polish or any of that stuff. So we'll hit it with our wipeout and uh, that's what I chose. Um, after that, we started taking care of the car. So we started with the wheels. The wheels were, they were bad. They weren't, they weren't the best, um, but it was very, um, it was just brake dust. It was very superficial. It wasn't embedded into the wheel. Um, this guy obviously comes with big brakes, so they dust like crazy. So what we did was, uh, just a very, very easy wash and clean. We used our extended wheel dribbles, uh, our little red rocket, and some of our uh, exterior detailing brushes to really get into the cracks and crevices of the, of the wheels, and, as well as the caliper. The caliper looked beige and is actually silver. So uh, the color is now the correct one. Um, so we did the wheels, we did all the wheels, we took care of that stuff, and then we started with the vehicle. So we rinsed the vehicle down, to knock off any loose debris or, 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 or dirt or grime that's on the vehicle. We then, again, hit it with our clean slate slope in our foam cannon. We used about, I'd say about an ounce, ounce and a half in our foam cannon and about another ounce and a half to maybe even two in our uh, wash bucket. We used our two uh, bucket wash method, obviously. A dirt trap in each bucket uh, to ensure uh, we don't make more work for ourselves in the end. That's really an important step uh, I believe is having a bucket with a dirt trap. Uh, that stuff really works. Uh, the dirt trap ensures that at least most of the dirt and the grime that's coming off of the vehicle stays off of the vehicle. Uh, it doesn't go back onto your wash mitt or whatever you may be using to wash the vehicle and ensures you're not gonna further scratch or swirl the vehicle. So we washed the car, we got it all dialed in. We brought the Camaro into the detail garage and we're getting to drying. Uh, what towel do I use? My favorite one, the Woolly Mammoth. Easiest towel to dry a vehicle, super, super plush. It's gonna not 
scratch the vehicle. It's, it, there's silk line edges. It's an amazing, amazing towel that everybody loves and holds a lot of water up to a gallon. A little fun fact for you guys. Um, also, we, the car has a lot of nooks and crannies that, that, that it's kind of hard to get a towel into. So we used our Master Blaster uh, air dryer and blew that air out, got most of it off of the vehicle. So we didn't have any, any water running down the, the door handle or the, by the windshield or the windows. Um, so when we polish the car, we don't have water getting onto the vehicle. So after drying the vehicle, what do you do? So I, I re-inspected, I really wanted to make sure the car, I got a full understanding of the vehicle as far as where I was at, what I needed to do. Did I need to get more aggressive than maybe V36? Uh, did I need a, an actual compound or was I good with what I had already? Um, I just guessed at the beginning, I got a good ballpark. And after inspection, yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't look as good as I thought originally, but what, with what I had already, I think it would have taken care of, of the vehicle. So we inspected the car again. Um, it definitely, definitely needed the clay. I don't think the car had ever been clayed. Again, although the car only has about 4,000 miles on it, um, it's never been clayed. Uh, so we hit it with our medium clay bar and our clay lubricant. Um, the medium clay bar is probably the favorite here at Detail Garage LA. Um, everybody likes it, everybody loves it. It's very, very sticky. Uh, using the clay lubricant, it still allows it to just slide right over the top of the paint without marring or scratching or doing anything and minimal, minimal pressure, if any at all. Um, the medium clay bar here is definitely my favorite and a lot of my team's favorite. So after claying, we then wiped down the car, make sure we were good to go with nothing else. And then we hit it with our polishers. So we started our V36 on our Torque 15 DA. So the Torque 15 DA is probably, it's probably my favorite machine here. Um, the 15 millimeters of throw, the 900 watt power um, on, the, on the machine is, I, I think, perfect. Um, although the Torque 22D is a great machine and I love it, I think for more everyday use, the five inch backing plate on that Torque 15 DA with the 15 millimeters of throw is, is awesome. It's my favorite. Um, it's a very powerful machine. Uh, the cut is amazing and vibration is minimal, if at all any. So we use the 15 DA with our orange HexLogic pad and we combine that with our V36 cutting polish. Uh, we got the car looking really good. We were actually surprised uh, where, we, where we got the car. We had Nick come out and he kind of helped me out for a little bit and we uh, attacked the car. So after we finished the car with the V36 on our orange HexLogic medium heavy cutting pad, we attacked the car, we decided to attack the car with our uh, white polishing pad. So the white polishing pad is a light to medium polishing pad. Um, it's actually what I finish every polishing job with. I finish with V38 on a white pad. And what that really does is it really just, again, turns up that gloss and that shine on that vehicle. And it gives you just a crazy, crazy wet look. So we did the whole car and it, it got it to looking, I mean, amazing. The results were great. Um, it looked like a, a totally different red uh, to us here in the detail garage. And we were happy with the results. So after we did that, we used our wipeout. So I did a very quick inspection just to make sure everything was good to go and we didn't you know, miss a spot or any of that stuff. And then we hit it with our wipeout. Our wipeout is again, it's our surface prep, surface cleanser. It strips off any wax or sealant that I may have missed during the wash or the polishing. And it also strips off any old, any polish uh, that I left behind maybe and I didn't wipe completely off. So we got the, the paint as bare as we could and then we attacked it with our hydro charge. Our HydroCharge ceramic spray uh, coating is an amazing coating. It's super easy to use uh, and it can go on anything that's painted. Um, so apply it. You wait your two, one to two minutes. I go a little bit, a little bit longer, so I do about two minutes um, and then I wipe off. I'm a big fan of the two-tail method when using HydroCharge um, or realistically any, any type of uh, protective coating. Um, one towel to kind of buff off any excess and then the one clean dry towel uh, to really get that shine out of, the, out, of the, out of that panel. Sometimes you get a little bit of the haziness or the streaking, so that's why I use two towels because one towel takes most of the residual off of the vehicle and the other one kind of buffs off to that very nice high shine and you're all set. So that's what we did to this vehicle, this Camaro ZL1. 
So we used the hydro charge. And again, that's something I wanted to want to take care of my friend in the ZL1. I wanted to take care of the ZL1 and make sure it was protected. The easiest coating I think I have ever used. Um, it's an amazing coating. It's easy to apply. Anybody can do it. Very versatile. And it's a great, great shine. Great protection. It's like adding another little layer of clear. It lasts up to a year. It's an amazing coating. Super hydrophobic. And again, the, my favorite part is, yeah, the hydrophobic properties of the car and, and the protection it gives. But honestly, the shine it gives. It makes that car look amazing. Uh, the shine is second to none. So again, guys, thanks for hanging out with us here at the Detail Garage. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, and give us a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys.